All right, so we're finally now onto the GTR here at the shop. We uh, got this one in a couple of weeks ago, and now we're gonna be getting this thing finished up here for the customer. So this one took a shot in the front end and down the right side here. And uh, we got a new cover for it. I showed you that in one of the other videos if you guys are following the channel, but this here is a custom job that this customer had here. And you guys see this side here, this is a wrap on this side. This is normally a black metallic. So we're gonna be doing the black metallic on it and uh, getting it back to the way that it needs to be. And that's up to the customer if he's gonna wrap it again. But we are fixing this one up now. And uh, George went ahead and did a lot of work to the front cover on this one to get it to where it will line up because it wasn't in the best condition. A lot of them aftermarket bumpers need a lot of work. And you guys will see that now in the video here what he had to do and then what we had to do to it. All right, so this is it here now in the 2K urethane and uh, we did quite a bit of work trying to get it to look as good as it is, especially where it butts up to the fenders on this thing. It was very, very off and uh, we had to do a lot of fitting. You guys seen that in the other pictures that I showed you guys, but this will be the final prep on it. We're gonna hit this with a 600 and then we're gonna remove this here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this prepped out because we are gonna be clearing the carbon on this. So, all right, so now we went ahead and unwrapped the carbon area and we're gonna go ahead and scuff this up here with a 600 grit and then run over this here, cut down on this here edge of where we had to mask it for the primer and then uh, get this thing prepped out. All right, so that's it there, feather edge back. We took back the slick sand as well as the 2K urethane. And that there white line is the fiberglass where they mold it together to the carbon fiber though. So we've got it all feather edge back. You guys can see that now. And then what we're gonna be doing here now is knocking down the carbon, getting it flat sanded with 600. That way the clear is gonna lay down nice on it because from here out, it's going to be base coat clear and then in here is just going to be cleared over the carbon fiber so it's going to give it a nice cool look and uh it's going to be something different especially with that hood that they have on there with that carbon so it'll line up nice with it so we'll get this fully prepped out and then we'll uh, be loading it up in the booth also these are the rest of the parts for the vehicle we've got a new door we had a new cover but it had a lot of gouges and scratches on it in transport so we went ahead and fully primed it that way it comes out nice and then we had a repair fender on this one that we fully primed as well. So these are going to be painted all off the vehicle. As you guys know, that's the way that I like to do it to get a nice clean job and have no tape lines anywhere. So this here now is fully sanded the bumper and this is going to be a really nice one when it's done. It definitely was tedious trying to stay out of the carbon and doing all the repair work that George did to uh, get it lined up. But once we hit this one with the clear, it's really going to come alive. So check this out. You guys see that carbon now that's how it's going to look once we clear it and then it's going to have the base coat from here out to match up to the fenders on this one so all right so we've got everything now loaded in the booth we're wiping it down we're using the wax and grease as well as the waterborne cleaner we got bryce doing his thing and uh, he's hitting it now with the wax and grease and then the waterborne cleaner and then we'll be shooting this one so what we'll do first is we're going to go ahead, once this is wiped down, we're going to go ahead and run our tape around the edge because the way they put this here, it's not the same on either side. You guys see here how big the gap is from the white to the actual edge here. Then look at this side. So it's definitely not lined up perfectly at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run off of this here center hole with something around the edge and that way I can get a consistent line and I'll base it off of 
the actual opening of where I'm gonna go ahead and put the line for the carbon. So we'll get it masked up. We'll seal it, base it just like normal. Then we'll pull off our masking and we're gonna clear the whole thing together. And that way that will last a lot longer too for the carbon fiber. So let's go ahead and get this thing rolling. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use this here tape. We're gonna run it around the opening here, run it along the edge. That way we can use it as a guide when we're gonna put our fine line on it. And we'll be able to look at it good because we have it on a bumper rack like this. So doing something like this, you're gonna to wanna to definitely have it on a bumper rack. That way you can see how this will look. We're just gonna run that like that for now. And uh, then we'll run our tape on the edge of this consistently around the edge of this. That way we can use it as a gauge and we'll be able to look at it to see what we think and how it looks on the outside of this. So that'll be just as a little bit of a template to see what we got. And uh, then we'll run our fine line and pull this off and we should be in, on the money with it. All right, so now we'll use our fine line and we're gonna run it on the outside there of that edge of that tape. And that's gonna give us a guide to go off of. Like I said, this here bumper is very inconsistent, but we need something to get us in the ballpark and then we'll straighten it up once we get going with it. So. The good part is we have this on the bumper stand like I have showed you guys. That way we're able to look at it as if it was on the vehicle and we can give it an eyeball and get it in the right spot. So now we'll just pull off this one and we'll have a pretty close gauge to where we need it to be. So, and now you can look at it because you're gonna wanna gauge this here you're gonna to wanna to gauge this here. And you can do measurements on it, but I was telling you, this bumper isn't really straight in any aspect. So this is one you're gonna to wanna to use your eyes because that's the way you're gonna be looking at it on the vehicle. So if you look at it here now, when it lines up, you guys can see it's pretty consistent, run along, and everything is gonna be good once we get it masked off. So that's where we're gonna leave it. And then the rest of this here will be paint. All right, as I was looking at it, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and continue with the body line, run this down straight, curve it with this here body line. And I think it looks a lot more consistent that way. And then just wrap it underneath. So that way it'll come around like it does here. It'll come around like it does with this body line here. Same as the other side will do. So it'll have more of a nice continuous look with the shape that we have of the body line rather than this here straight line. I'm not liking the way that that looks. So now that we got it outlined, we'll go ahead and we'll mask the center. We'll hit it with our normal paint. We'll pull it and we'll be ready to clear it. All right, so we got the backside now covered up. That way we do not have any overspray on this one. So we've got everything wiped. We've got it masked off. And uh, we're gonna go ahead now, blow and tack it good, and then get into our sealer, and then uh, get into the base and the clear coat on this one. So that's how I do these jobs here. If any of you guys ever get one of these half carbon, half uh, fiberglass bumpers, you're gonna have to do a lot of body work on them. So make sure you mask this up from day one and get it covered up, do all your body work, and then taper it off. That way you do not have an edge here because you don't wanna have a line of all your body work and primer stuff. So we're gonna be bringing our line in further. That way we do not have the line over here and uh, that's gonna ensure us to have a nice job. So let's go ahead and get into it.
All right, so that's the sealer on the job. We'll go ahead, we'll let that flash off for about 15 minutes before we move into our base. And then we'll hit it with two coats of base and a drop coat. This is a metallic, so let's go ahead, let that flash, and then we'll be basing it out. All right, so all the base is on. We're gonna go in now and unmask the center section of the uh, bumper and then take off the back as well. That way we can get from the back and the front when we clear it. So let's go ahead and unmask it. All right, so it's all on mass. Now we'll go ahead and hit it with our two coats of clear and see it all finished up. came out nice considering the quality of that bumper when we first got it. So it was definitely not a top of the line bumper. The customer was well aware of what he gave us and we did our best to try to make it look good. And at the end, it actually came out really nice. So I think he's gonna love it. And uh, definitely a cool concept with the paint over the top of the carbon. And it really offsets it nice with that black and then that charcoal carbon look. So let me know what you guys think of it. We'll see you guys on the next one.